Hi and welcome once again to another Iron Speed video. We hope you find our videos helpful and beneficial. In this video we cover how to change a logo for your application and how to set the copyright to something more descriptive. So let's just jump right in, shall we? As you can see, we have the Southwind database up and open in our browser. When Iron Speed first creates an application, by default it places a temporary logo on the application. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to change. In order to change our default logo, we need to place our new logo that we want to use into the Iron Speed application. So let's navigate to the Iron Speed application that we are working on. As you can see, my application is being ran under the INET Pub WW root, and the application is called Southwind. We need to go down to the Images folder. The Images folder is where all the images for your application are being stored in the IronSpeed application. In our case, we have the logo.gif as the default image that's being brought up on our application. So let's place our new logo that we want to use for our application into this folder. So let's take a look at the new logo that I put into this folder for uh, our new logo. And I've named it new logo.gif. Okay. So now let's go back to Iron Speed application. Go into the header. Logo we highlight. Come over to Properties, and in our Properties under the Image URL, it's the name of the logo that's being pulled up. So let's change it to our new logo. We'll just name it new. Click off of the logo. I like to come over and touch a page to save the change I made up at this level. You don't get as many errors. If you do get an error, you just rerun again. But if we do this simple step, you won't get an error. Click Run. And there we go. We have a new logo where the old logo was. So you can see that it's very easy to change your logo. Our next step will be to work with the copyright. So let's go back to our Iron Speed application. And we're already here because we changed to it. Let's click on the copyright, highlight it, go over to the Properties tab. And this is where all the value for the information for the, the copyright or footer information at the bottom is. And let's just change this up a little bit. And we'll come in here and have copyright 2011. Let's put in a break. And we'll just put Wayne in here. Just so you can see it changed. Okay, I'll click off of there like I did before. I'll touch another, another page so that our ch changes are saved. Let's run it again. Our page is loaded, so now let's go down to the footer and look at our changes. And you can see that we have the copyright here. I put in the break tag, which brought us down to a new line with my changes in it. We could go one step further real quick and go back on to our logo. Go 
equivalent properties. And let's say we wanted to add a, a header break across the top before the, uh, the information came into our footer. Let's go back to our footer. We have a copyright. Let's drag the copyright down a cell. Go to our toolbox. We'll navigate down to uh, a literal HTML text tag. We'll drop that on there. And the sample text, let's um, put in an HR tag. Okay, page is loaded. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And, and there we have a header row running across. That's it for this video. Um, I hope this has been helpful, and please come back and see other Iron Speed videos.